so Since you're here, I'm asking you to stay I'm tryna fight my tears, I just got used to it yeah, We're gonna all get together and we're gonna go Piggy. It look right with the outfit. Hi, you guys. As you can see, we've been out shopping all day. And the shopping continues. I'm so behind when it comes to my baby. And so behind when it comes to getting myself together. Here's Kingston. He just got out of school. Basically, I am just getting all the last minute things I need, not everything. Like, I don't think I'll be getting the best in it and stuff today. That's something I'm gonna most likely order because for some reason, my Walmart just don't be talking about nothing. Y'all know we don't have a Target. I actually was thinking about going to Target, so I don't know. We'll see as the days progress, but yeah, I'm getting everything I need for my hospital bag and stuff because at this point, the hospital bag should already be packed. He could be here any day now and I'm just not prepared, you know. I was gonna get the Nuna stroller, which is like almost a thousand dollars, but then I saw this on TikTok last night, which is the Even Flow Pivot, and it literally does the same thing the Nuna does. Um, and it's just a lot more affordable. And then I was gonna get this one as well. Um, you know, it's similar to the Duna, but it's still, they're really around the same price, honestly. But I like it because the wheels, like, they are able to come off. But, unfortunately, my mom rode here, so we can't get it right now. So, I'm gonna have to come back in my truck and bring my baby daddy because it's a really big box. So, right now, we're just gonna focus on my postpartum essentials, I guess. And you know, everything baby needs, everything I need, so we can be ready. When that time comes, I'm not trying to be scrambling and, you know, putting together a hospital bag when contractions start here, so. We're trying to get that? Yes. Actually, we're getting this one because it has sound and vibration and night light, all of that. And it's cheaper. Oh, it rocks. Oh, it rocks. Perfect. Okay, y'all. Uh, a lot of people ask what app I use for like to track my pregnancy and all that. I use Pregnancy Plus, and in there they just have a lot of helpful tools. So I'm going through a hospital bag of everything I really need, and I'm just gonna try to find it in here. I don't need a breast pump. Luckily, some a company is sending me one, so that's great. I don't think I have to buy much because a lot of this I already have. It just needs to be packed. So we need a sound machine, of course. Let's see what we can find. They don't have the hatch rest, the portable one. They don't have the portable one. Oh yes they do. I was gonna buy this on Amazon, but. So the hatch rest go, which is gonna go on his car seat. Oh my gosh. Or his stroller, you know, to keep him soothed. So we can check that off. I need nursing pads, nipple cream, stuff of that sort. A lot of people were asking me to vlog this. This isn't fun. I really could have ordered this and called it a day. Okay, nursing pads because it is my goal to breastfeed. Mom, why aren't you following me? Kingston, what are you doing? Because I like doing this. 
nursing pads, okay. I'm gonna get this right here, okay. This is a must. We need a nipple cream, of course. We need um one of these for like letdowns and leaks. Look what I found, y'all. What? Mm-hmm. This is supposed to help with labor and make you not tear. So, yeah, socks. Okay, we got some burp cloth. You have to get the period underwear. All right, y'all. It's haul time. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor because I've been on my feet all day. He keeps kicking me like I feel it in my butt and it's just annoying. As you can see, we have a lot of bags. Let's get started with what I got from Carter's because I know y'all probably didn't see everything. So, first thing I got was this organic cotton set in three months. And isn't it just so cute? Yes. Then I got... This set, this is just so cute to me. Like, I can't wait to go to church and just put him in this. This is also three months. Then I got this little, it's like a three piece set. It comes with a onesie, a sweater, and then the shorts. And this was is also three months. And it's so freaking cute. And then I got this denim like romper. And this would just be so cute paired with like some brown booties, his little gold custom bracelet. Like I can't, I can't wait for the looks. Dressing a baby up is so fun. And yeah, I got this in newborn because when I saw this, I was like, I want him to wear this ASAP. And it's hot, it's getting hot. So he got the summer clothes on deck. He's ready for summer, okay? And I spent a total of 75.17 today at Carter's. Carter is not my favorite when it comes to like Kingston size, but it is my favorite when it comes to the baby stuff. But once they hit that like toddler mark for real, it don't be talking about nothing. Next we got Charlotte Roos. You have a ball on the budget, baby? Go to Charlotte Roos, okay? So I got these cute slippers. I know y'all probably seen these around a lot. Um, I've actually been wanting these and these were only $6. And they're so cute. And then I got this Garfield pajama romper because you can never have too many pajamas, okay? I really wanted the Chucky one, but they didn't have my size in it. So it is what it is. And I spent $19.43 at Next we have H&M. I got me just a regular white tee. Um, I feel like I should have got a medium. I know my stomach is probably going to be strong, but we shall see. I got me some gray shorts to pair with it. Real cute. Then I got this cute flowy like black dress. I don't know. It's just so cute to me, honestly. And I usually don't like wear this type of stuff, but I feel like it would be so cute with my bump. So yeah, I got that in a small. And then I also got this gold, um, like this little gold chain. Don't know how well y'all can see it because y'all are kind of far back. So I'm gonna buy a new camera real soon because I know y'all see that right there. Like the little blurry spot, can't do it. The quality just of the camera has just went down or maybe I'm just ready for more better quality but yeah i told myself i wasn't gonna buy myself the camera until i got all my work done and like all my sponsorships because i want to reward myself i don't want to just buy a camera and i'm not even you know doing what i need to do so yeah at h&m i spent a total of 48.56 so not too bad honestly not too bad next we got foot locker and I know y'all probably saw these. I got me some new balance. I'm just, I'm trying to get my shoe game up because I've been wearing these little Yeezy dupes my whole pregnancy just because they're comfortable. Like I slide them right on. I don't have to tie them up. Like it's just, it's really convenient for me. You know, I'm big and I'm lazy right now. So I love them, but it's time to turn my swag up a little bit. Okay. 
So I got the New Balance 990s. And these were 130 but with tax, they ended up being 140 yeah, These are really cute. I love them. I've never had new... Well, I'm not going to say that. I did have New Balance when I was a little girl, but... I don't know. I'm happy they, they like, made a comeback because they're really cute and comfortable shoes. So, And last but not least, the place I spent the most money is Walmart. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, I spent $211 in Walmart. So first we got this Hatch Rest Go. And this is a portable um, sound machine. And I really want to open it, honestly. I'm about to open it just to see what it's giving. But basically you can hook this up to your baby's car seat, stroller, and it's just supposed to keep them food and you know, all of that on the go. This is, this is what it looks like. I'm sorry if the camera isn't focusing, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, it comes with a clip. Oh, I guess I have to charge it, but it comes with a clip to put on here. So, you know, hook up to your car seat or whatever, like I said. But yeah, it has to be charged. But yeah. You could find like a portable sound machine way cheaper than this. I saw one for like um, $17 at Carter's and the same price at Walmart. This is just something I really wanted, you know, but I'm pretty sure you could find something that does the exact same thing for way cheaper. I got some burp cloths because I have everything really except burp cloths. So I got some nursing pads. I saw a lot of moms like raving about these. I got some nipple cream. I do plan on breastfeeding this time and hopefully it goes well. I know it's not easy. So y'all pray for me and give me like some tips on breastfeeding and I'm just really confused on it and I've been like really trying to study and understand and like kind of get a routine in my mind and kind of like I already know what I'm going to do but it's just kind of it's so confusing. But I'm gonna try. I really do want to breastfeed my baby and I'm glad that I'm able to do that this time around because the first time I was not. So yeah. Then I got this, then I got this silicone breast pump. Um, it's very similar to the Hakka. I'm pretty sure most moms have heard about that. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but this was just cheaper. The Hakka was like 24 and I think this was like 14, 17, somewhere up in there. And I'm like, they look exactly the same. They're gonna do the same thing. So that's what I got. I got these little black, Simple sandals. I'm that type of girl. I'll get shoes, clothes out of anywhere. If I like it, I'm gonna get it. So I got these little sandals out of Walmart. Um, and the Freedom Mom disposable underwear for like, how many was in there? 12 of them? That might even be a reach. But that was like $18. Somewhere up in there. I'm not spending $18 on that little bit of disposable underwear. I won't be able to wear them again. So instead I just got these I just got these little night defense underwear. Um, you know, period underwear, um, people that have leakage, you know, they all pretty much do the same thing. So yeah, I got these for nine dollars. Then I got my raspberry leaf tea. You know, we gotta start preparing for labor. I also want to prep me some okra water, but I didn't get that today because honestly, I was just ready to get out of the store. Like I've been out all day. And then I got some socks as well and newborn because I, I don't think I have any socks for real. So I'm gonna need to get more than this because y'all know babies lose their socks like crazy. So yeah, that's my little shopping haul for today. We spent quite a bit of money, but YOLO. Also, I have another haul to do for y'all because my friend surprised me the other day. I'm thinking we about to, I don't know what we about to do. I don't know if she's about to take me out to eat. I didn't know. So basically, I'm think, I'm just, I don't know where I'm going, but we stop at her house. She's like, hold on, I got to get something at the house right quick. So I'm like, okay. And she was like, she ended up texting me while she's in the house. And she's like, come here right quick. I walk in and it's dark. And I'm like, where are you? Then she turned on the lights. And I see all this baby stuff, y'all. Cute balloon, cute bags. And I'm just so thankful. And I told her, I got to give them a heart. 
show them what you did. Like, I really have the best sister, the best friend. She's been my friend since sixth grade. And at this point, she is a sister. Like, don't play with her. And I can't, I don't know. I'm just so thankful. So thankful for her. She comes through every time, y'all. And that's the only person I feel comfortable, like, asking for stuff. Like, when I'm in the hospital, I hate bothering people. I just, I don't know. And even then, it takes me a while to even ask her, like, can you bring me some food? Like, I'm starving. And she comes through every time. And that says a lot. You know. That says a lot. So. Yeah. I don't want to get up, but I got to if I want to show y'all all this stuff she got me. So. Let's do it. Okay, this is one bag. She got me three bags full of stuff. So. Yeah, we got to make a couple trips because these bags are not light. But if you hear Kisa's tablet in the background, please excuse me. Can you turn that down a bit? First, she got me some diapers. She got my baby a book. Dear baby, a love letter to little ones. And y'all know I'm big on books. So Then she got me my favorite brand, which is... The Dr. Brown bottles. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I love them. Washcloths. This is a 10 pack. And then, oh my goodness. And then she got some little mittens for his hands because y'all know babies love to scratch their face up. So here's the second bag. This is from Carter's. And this is a three piece set. It comes with a onesie. And then this little gray outfit. Then she got me a three pack body suit. Newborn. Jordan is so freaking cute. If, if y'all been paying attention, I've been buying like mostly neutral stuff for my baby. And I don't know. Neutral stuff is just so cute. Especially on babies. So this one is in six to nine months. And this is a nine piece set. Comes with mittens, a onesie, a sleeper, a blanket, socks, and yeah, I think I'm missing something, but oh, a little bib. It's so freaking cute. This is from Carter's as well. A cute little green romper. That's in three months. This is in three to six months. And this is, I don't know. Where, where this is from, but yeah, a cute Mickey Mouse set. This is a three piece bib, onesie, and the pants. And then she got me a 25 pack of baby hangers. And the third bag more diapers, um, a three piece onesie set. This is so cute. I'm gonna just start taking all this stuff out of this bag, out of these bags, and hang them up because, yeah. This is from Gerber, and these are two sleepers, two sleeping plays is what they call it. And yeah, this is from Carter's, another sleeping play. We got the Jordan onesie with the booties, so cute. And last but not least, the cutest little Mickey robe. So cute. So, yeah. If my sis is watching this, thank you so much. I love you so much. I know I told you thank you about three times now, but I'm just, I'm so appreciative. And, yeah. Ugh. I'm so weird at, like, showing. I don't know. I get kind of awkward when people do stuff for me. So, I'm about to go hang this stuff up, finish editing this video, try to get it uploaded, and I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Alright y'all, it's a few hours later. Um, Yeah, I had to get that video edited and uploaded. And then I ate, and I just sat down for a little because I've been on my feet all day. Which I'm not mad about. This is probably the most productive I've been my entire pregnancy. So, I'm not mad at it. But these packages have been sitting at the door and I, I haven't even thought to open them. So why not open them with you guys? What is this? This is heavy.
keep your gift a surprise. I'll wrap your present before opening this envelope. Oh, I think this is from my baby registry. She said, enjoy your gift. May God bless you and your beautiful family. In Jesus' name, your love. Strong, healed, beautiful, worthy. From Tashaya. I hope I'm saying it right. Thank you so much. Let's see what it is. It's a bottle of, oh, baby arm and hammer. Thank you so much. Definitely needed that. Definitely. Let's see what this is. Oh, yes. This is a sponsorship. These are some mom cozy breast pump wipes. So those are definitely going to come in handy. Oh my gosh, a bottle warmer. It's crazy because I was about to buy one today and I'm so glad I didn't. It's also a portable one. It has a lot of pieces, so I don't know. I'm going to have to, you know, put that together later. But thank you, Mom Cozy. Make sure y'all are following my TikTok, okay? That's where most of the sponsorships are coming in. I've been taking TikTok like serious lately. Not as consistent as I would like to be, but this is also from my registry. Um, I'm trying to see who bought it for me so I can say thank you, but it doesn't say whoever bought the um the honest diaper cream and the pacifiers. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. can hardly see my face right now we are about to head to get our hair done i just had to go ahead and get my braids like i was trying to wait it out but baby like you just never know and i just really want to be prepared because i'm gonna be so upset if i go into labor and i'm looking a mess like i'm not put together nails not dead toes not dead none of that so i'm pretty sure my braids are gonna take pretty much the rest of the day so yeah i'll probably like focus on my toes and my brows and you know all that other stuff lashes later on this week i am gonna go ahead and schedule them though most likely while i'm sitting there getting my hair braided and i also have to stop by the bank to get some cash uh, and i gotta stop and get something to eat of course because i'm gonna be there for a little minute and I'm really dreading it. Like I'm excited to get my hair done and finally feel cute because y'all know pregnancy just make you feel real ugly sometimes. Like I'm excited but I'm dreading it because I just know my butt finna be hurting. I am not one of those people that can really sit for a long time, which is why I don't get braids often. I don't even like getting my wig installed honestly because even that takes too long to me. But 
gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Pretty hurts. But anyways, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I got that from the orbit. I hate coming to this ATM. I can never reach it. Oh. Okay. Got the Marnyan. We got the Funyuns. Where to now? Food. And that's it. That's all. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. some strawberry crinkle cookies from Great American. So that's the real reason I'm going that far just to get my toes done. I'm not gonna get acrylic. The damage it does to my toes is crazy. I really do want French tip, but it don't hit the same when it's not acrylic. So I'm gonna probably just get white and call it a day. I know French tip is extra anyway, so I'm saving a little coin. And I probably am gonna do a little shopping. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because I need some more clothes. Like I just got I feel so cute today to the point where it's like, girl, you need you need some more outfits. So I'm trying to be cute for the remainder of my pregnancy. Like I've been I ain't gonna say I've been ugly the entire time, but the majority of it I just been wearing the same thing, don't care. One mile, Today, take a slight right turn to merge onto I-75 okay. North. Well, yeah, my sis did my braids. So, y'all make sure y'all book my girl. They're so pretty. I haven't had braids in so long. But, yeah, I'm going to see you guys when we get there. I was about to go to sleep. She did her thing. Every time I come, I'm gonna ask for Kim, cause baby, and she's such a sweetheart. That's her name? <sighs> yeah, she did so good. Oh, I love that. Open the door, bitch. <laughs> That's what we came for right there. I had to buy a Shanti Chipotle in order for her to take my pictures, y'all. And she didn't even have to take a lot. She really? It's 9909. Okay. She really deserved McDonald's with the picture she took today, but it is what it is. Y'all, Great American got new blueberry muffin cookies with 
cream cheese like chocolate pieces it looks so good is it better than my strawberry crinkle i don't know but it's up there for sure that wraps up today's video i know a lot of y'all have been asking for the longer vlogs but it's just a lot harder to do you know at this point in my life right now but i promise y'all the baby's almost here we're gonna be back to our normal schedule we're gonna be back to everything we were doing before this so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video and yeah stay tuned for wednesday's hello